Hey everybody, let's talk about van roof design. Uh, there's, there's just so much to cover. Uh, let me see if I can fill your brain <laughs> with some ideas. And, and I have some notes to follow, you know. Um, uh, so please pardon me while I look at them. I didn't want to miss anything that I thought about ahead of time. So what kind of impacts are there to how you design your roof layout? How big is your van? Do you want an awning? Uh, how many fans do you want? Uh, how much solar power do you want, or need for that matter? Do you want an AC? Do you want an air conditioner? Uh, if you do, you're likely going to need more power and therefore more solar on your roof. Uh, are you upgrading tires from the factory to some all-terrain tires? Even that can impact some of how you think about your roof design. So, how long? This one's pretty obvious. The longer your van, the more space you have on top. Can't really argue with that one. Uh, are you going to mount an awning? Um, the most popular is the Fiamma F45S. Uh, it's a wall mount style that we typically deal with in van life. Uh, a lot of rack vendors will design their rack for that awning. Um, how many fans? Uh, some go with one, some choose two, one far forward, one all the way back to get some air circulation going. Uh, some want two fans and an air conditioner. Uh, how much solar do you need? Oh my gosh, there are so many factors that will influence how much solar you need. Uh, if you're adding an air conditioner, for example, um, like these 12 volt ACs, a lot of them say that the bare minimum is 400 amp hour battery system. And if you've got that much battery, then you either... if you need shore power for charging or DC to DC charging when you're driving. Uh, and let's say you want to go no propane, induction cooktop. You're going to need power for that. Do you have a large fridge or a small fridge? Do you have a separate freezer? You know, the list goes on. Um, just, you know, if you've thought about building a van, you've maybe thought about all the different things that you need power for. So how can that tire choice impact your roof layout? Well, it could. Um, a lot of all-terrain tires, uh, we all want them so we can go off-road, BLM land, whatever you want to call it. Um, just make our rig look good, right? Uh, but a lot of those all-terrain tires don't fit underneath the van in the spare tire compartment. So now you've got to think of uh, you know, another location for that spare tire. Are you going to get a rear door uh, rack uh, for your tire with the ladder, without the ladder? Um, you know, what if, what if you want a side ladder? Do you need a, a roof rack that can support you mounting that side ladder? Um, so, you know, that's, that's just, you know, who would have thought the choice of tire could affect how you choose your roof rack? Uh, so what have I missed? I don't know, probably a hundred things. Just tell me in the comments and what made you think about your rack design? So how did I come to my roof rack design? Well, first I have the extended length transit and uh, I knew that I wanted the Fiamma F45S and I'm getting the 350 size. And so I knew I would want a rack to mount this to. Uh, I did not want any propane on my build uh, and I knew that I needed enough power for induction cooking. Uh, I'm an IT professional, so I need enough power for my computer setup. So I knew with those things that I would need a sizable system. Um, I decided that I would have one max air fan up front and that's where my cooking takes place and potentially if I have a shower in the van uh, I'll have that up front as well so I'll have the venting just above both of those spaces so venting out the the cooking venting out the steam from the shower and I'm also gonna have a 12 volt AC in the furthest rear bay of the van uh, because my cat nuggets gonna travel with me so you know if I'm if I'm mountain biking or grocery shopping or, or whatever, I want him to be able to be comfortable, stay cool. You know, a fan in a hot environment is just not enough for your pets, right? So we got to keep those guys safe. We love them. Uh, you may have seen in the previous video that I had the awning style pill shaped windows in the rear on the sides. And that's so that uh, with my singular fan up front, uh, I can open one or both of those windows, turn that fan on and I still get air pull uh, through my van. Uh, and I can do that even in the rain. The max air fan works in the rain. The awning style windows work in the rain. 
Uh, but because of my power needs, I went with 660 amp hours of uh, battery and most of my equipment is from Victron Energy. And so um, I knew that I'll have shore power. I knew that I'll have DC to DC while I'm charging, but I might also want to spend a few days or a couple of weeks, who knows, out on some BLM land disconnected. And I knew that I would have to have enough solar to do that. So um, I wanted 600 watts of solar and knew that I needed a rack uh, with extruded aluminum or 80-20 crossbars uh, so that I could do the mounting of the racks that I, or the mounting of the panels that I wanted. And there are a lot of roof rack options out there. Uh, you can even get the mounting feet and build your own custom rack out of aluminum or extruded aluminum 8020. Uh, I chose the Flatline V2 rack uh, that came out uh, earlier here in 2022. Um, if you want to see how I installed that rack, uh, I've got a link to that in the description. Uh, overall, I'd say the rack's pretty good. Um, it's got a kind of a maybe annoying installation flaw with the mounting feet. Um, it'll just kind of annoy you a bit, but you can get past that. Uh, there is some latest news, however, um, that there's potentially a larger issue. Uh, there is reports of rubbing and denting of the van roof if you install the Fiamma awning to the rack and the rack is advertised as made for this purpose so uh, I have an inquiry out to Flatline Van Company to see what this is about if it's true uh, what's their fix etc fortunately I'm not installing my awning yet so I I've got some time to to see if it is true if they come out with a fix hopefully I can get that and it'll be no problem uh, with this uh, rack the crossbars are 58 inches and they sit about an inch below the top of the side rails, so there's no room for overhang off the top of those bars. And this is where I would say measuring comes in. Measure, measure, and, and yes, measure, 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 measure. Um, I knew where my fan had to go up front um, on the first flat bay of the transit roof, not the, not the curved sloping part of the roof. And um, I knew it would be centered left to right, so that left an exact amount on the left side and right side for a solar panel. And uh, you, when you measure, make sure you, you give yourself enough room so that there's no rubbing, right? That fan lid has to come up and down. Uh, I chose to purchase two Renogy 100 watt panels for going on either side of the fan, but I had to choose their 18% efficient model instead of their 22% efficient model because the 18% efficient model was 20 inches in width, whereas the other one was 20.9 inches in width and that would not fit on this rack with the fan in the middle. So I lose a little bit of uh, solar effectiveness, but I get the fitment uh, that I needed. So remember, we are dealing with tight fits in these vans. If you've built your van already, you know this. If you're building one, you're learning it or you've already figured it out. So I still needed 400 watts more uh, solar and I chose two Renogy 200 watt panels that would go side by side behind the fan. And I also had to make sure that the ones that I were getting were not too long because I'm putting a Dometic RTX 2000 12 volt air conditioner in the furthest rear bay in the van and it needs a hole 14 by 14 square, just like the Max Air fan, and it has a little notch for its power. Uh, but in that rear bay, you only have 14 and a half inches to work with. So again, measure, measure, measure. We're, we're dealing with really tight, tight fit here. And those panels had to, you know, had to be big enough for 200 watts, but also not too long that they would bump into the, um, the AC and and th therefore not allow me to install it because the AC pretty much has one spot where it's going to fit. Uh, very little room for, for movement there. I also had to make sure the uh, last crossbar, the very back one in the uh, rack, would not interfere with the rear side of the RTX 2000 as well. Uh, something to think about in my design is that, or my choice in, in rack, is that Flatline's crossbars are uh, effectively 10 series extruded aluminum. It might be coded as 1020 because it's one inch thick, two inches wide, 
and as I mentioned, 58 across. That crossbar width also had to be considered in the design measurements, you know, from front to back. That, that makes a difference. Everywhere there's a crossbar, there's two inches taken by the crossbar. Uh, I have taken um, one of the 100 watt solar panels and put it up on my van next to the fan. Um, one of the last videos released was the installation of the fan, so I know that that fits. So my measurements worked, and I've proven it with a physical test fit. It's such a good thing to know. Um, I've also remeasured and remeasured having that fitment in place to make sure that the 200 watt panels, the RTX 2000 air conditioner, and the crossbars and everything are all gonna fit. And it's tight, but it's gonna fit. Um, you know, once you cut that hole in your roof, you better be right. Um, nobody wants to mess up the hole in their roof, right? Um, so uh, eventually I'll show you guys my solar panel installation, including the wiring down to the MPPTs uh, that were in the, um, the tabletop demonstration uh, of wiring up. Um, you know, didn't get to do the actual solar that day because it was raining that day, but uh, I'll get to that and uh, so much more. So I hope this gave you uh, a lot to think about in terms of your roof rack. And I just can't say this enough. Measure, measure, measure. That's the word of the day. Measure, people. See you on the next one.